In this video, we're going to be diving into a few of the new features introduced in the release of Character Creator 4 that I believe will help you streamline your character creation process, making them more believable, and bringing them to life more quickly. I'm a huge fan of Reillusions products, and I have been using Character Creator 3 to make my characters for the past few years, using them in my micro shorts and reviews. It just makes the character creation process so fast and fun. And as a one-man crew, I feel I have everything at my disposal to make the characters for the movies I've always wanted to make. So I was very excited to jump into Character Creator 4 the second that I could, and here are the five things that stood out to me right away. First off, Character Creator 4 has noticeably boosted the speed and responsiveness of the program, allowing you to work faster and more efficiently. But this is coupled with what I feel are better visuals. Mainly, the shaders and the default lighting make your characters look so good. This is noticeably better than it was in Character Creator 3, but something stood out to me a little bit more, which was that my character's clothing looks more accurate as well. I say this because I texture everything in Substance Painter. While those components look good in Substance Painter and then eventually in Blender, where I typically render out my projects, I felt like in Character Creator 3, they were a bit flat. So it was just something that I had to work around. But now I feel I get a much more accurate representation of my character directly in the viewport, meaning I'm more confident with the look of the character at the outset, resulting in less back and forth program hopping in the later stages of production. Another feature I was extremely excited for and wanted to test right away in Character Creator 4 was the extended facial profile. This gives you even more control over your character's facial expression, with a total of over 140 blend shapes. And the results are so beautiful, and brings so much range and realism to your facial performances. I did a quick test with one of my previous Character Creator 3 characters, and put it back to back with one of the new facial profiles using the facial calibration animation. And while the results may be subtle, I can see the differences that the subtleties from the Character Creator 4 profile give my character. In the end, it's much more engaging and less robotic, breathing life into that character. For more on this, take a look at Reillusion's Digital Souls Pack. You will see the possibilities of what these advancements bring to your animation endeavors. Of course, one of the benefits of having these facial profiles and the ability to test them in Character Creator 4 using the calibration tools is the opportunity to make adjustments to those facial profiles of the character. I use the plugin headshot to give a foundation to my character's appearance. Then I make further adjustments with morph sliders. However, sometimes that can result in your characters having clipping issues on some of the facial features, like teeth, or in my case, the eyes didn't close properly. In the past, I just had to work around this, but now you can modify the character's facial profile. Using a variety of tools such as the mesh adjustment or the morph sliders, you can update the profile to accommodate your customized character. This means you are in full control of what your character looks like, and you can avoid such unsightly anomalies. In my opinion, this also means you can give your characters a little bit more personality, which would be great for stylized or fantastical characters, but also works just for standard humans. You can make each character truly unique, even if it's just in the way that they smile. I mentioned animation, and yes, you can have your characters animated inside of Character Creator 4. This is great for several reasons. One, I already mentioned, for testing your facial rig and making adjustments. But two, it's just so nice to see your characters come to life without having to send them off to iClone. You can also adjust spring settings and collision shapes directly within Character Creator 4, which can then be tested without leaving the program. That means you can feasibly set up everything on your character without having to shoot it off to iClone for further refinement, which brings up the next point. Soft cloth physics are also active in Character Creator 4. I make a lot of my own clothing for my CC characters, and personally, I love having long flowing clothing on my characters, but that means I need to test my weight maps, refine them, test them again, refine them again, until I get it all right. In the past, I would have to set up my character, then send it to iClone, test it, and refine it, and then when I was happy with my results, I'd have to import those files back into Character Creator 3. This saves that extra step, so even if you don't make your own clothing, the tools are there to take your pre-built clothes, 
make the refinements, and tailor them to your specific character. Finally, when you have completed your digital character, you can show them off with style thanks to the new turntable feature. Using either a static pose or animated motion, your character will spin around in a 360 loop. This loop can be modified, adjusting the speed of the rotation and even the items that are rotated. Then, using the Lightroom presets, you can quickly set the mood with various lighting setups. Of course, this can also be modified and customized. So, if you're proud of your work and you just can't wait to show it off to the world, having this feature is a wonderful addition. Of course, there is a lot more to rave about, and if there are features that I didn't cover that you're loving about Character Creator 4, I'd love to hear them in the comments section below. Overall, I think all of these features I've listed boil down to two benefits that you can make your characters more realistic and have more confidence in your characters that you create without having to bounce back and forth between programs to dial it all in. This confidence ultimately leads to increased speed and higher quality characters that will help you tell your next story. So if you're on the fence wondering whether it's worth it to upgrade, I'd say go for it. It's so nice to have a program that improves on so much that you'll wonder how you ever used the previous version. Hopefully, this sheds some light on the cool new features of Character Creator 4. I also created a similar video for iClone 8, so if you want to check that out, it'll be in the description below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next LibreTask video.